Todos Santos is an oasis on the Pacific coast of Baja, California, Sur. Home to less than 10,000 people year-round, this sleepy Pueblo Mexico has quickly become one of Mexico's hottest destinations to visit. But is it worth the hype? This week, we explore the vibrant community, mouthwatering cuisine, and stunning beaches to discover what Todos Santos is all about. If you are into food, you are going to love this little pueblo. Just came to Taller 17 for some breakfast. They're known for coffee as well as pastries. They have different brownies, cookies, muffins, the most incredible looking cinnamon rolls. I'm so excited. Delicious. This is a cheddar scone with a little bit of pepper in it. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> the cream cheese frosting, guys. Just do it. Can definitely recommend this if you're looking for something quick and easy so you can keep exploring the city. What's up, bud? Todos Santos is the ancestral homeland of the Pericu people. The town center we see today was established in the early 1700s by Jesuit missionaries. Todos Santos became the largest sugarcane producer in Baja, California, for over 100 years, thanks to the abundant freshwater source from the nearby oasis. The sugar mills were closed due to a drought in the mid-1900s, but visitors can still see deteriorated ruins of the old mills scattered throughout the city. <laughs> you gotta love Mexico. Most people come to Todos Santos on a day trip from Cabo, but if you have time, I highly recommend spending at least two, three days, if not longer. We are gonna be here for five days. We do have our friends coming to visit as well, which is very exciting. Our last stop for the evening was Baja Veria, a beer garden owned and operated by former full-timer beers who now call Todos Santos home. They had a great selection of beers with live music and amazing Southern style barbecue chicken smoked by a local asadero. This is good barbecue. What a vibe. Our friends have arrived. We came to Jazzamongo Cafe, which is supposed to be an incredible spot for breakfast. And since we're here with friends, we ordered way too much food so we could try all of the things. We have chilaquillas and salsa verde. We have sopes, which has chicharron. It's kind of like a fried pork skin on top. And then it has a layer of black beans, egg. We got ilote corn pancakes and a croissant with eggs and huevos rancheros. The verde is the gem. Oh, good. I'm glad we got verde then. Mm -hmm. Delicious. <laughs> There's so many shops and boutiques for you to visit, so I definitely recommend spending a full day exploring all of the cute different little spots. Although we were ready for the beach. It is just a short drive from Todos Santos, and it is surrounded by an oasis with all of these amazing palm trees. And then you just come to this little cove that is absolutely breathtaking. There's like wild horses on the beach just gallivanting around. What is not to love? I mean, look at this. If we're really lucky, we'll be able to see some whales passing by. Woo! We saw a whale! There is a whale out there. We stopped at Agricole, which is a really cute shop. It's kind of like the Whole Foods of Baja California Sur here. They have their own organic farm that produces a lot of the produce there. So we grabbed some salads, we have a little bit of vino and beer, and we were just gonna have a lush beach day. They think I have food. I don't have any food, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no tengo comida, nada. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, we're so close. Oh my God. <laughs> to finish off an absolutely perfect day, we came to the green room, which is the spot to catch the sunset if you are in Toro Santos. It has spectacular views just as the sun is going down. And honestly, the restaurant is incredible. They have their own organic garden out back that they get all of their vegetables from. Their menu is fantastic, featuring fresh local seafood. Their drinks are spectacular. So definitely, definitely come here. Even if you can't get a reservation, I highly recommend stopping by for a drink. You would hate this. <laughs> it's <was> delicious. <laughs> Cheers! Holy moly, this is delicious. We got the chimichangas and like a chipotle sauce and cochinita pibil. I think we are in for a treat. 
the Sun Coast is filled with a ton of fancier restaurants, kind of sit down style, what you might be more accustomed to as travelers. But I highly recommend coming to the park in the center of town. There is a birria stand that arrives every morning. This birria is de res, which means it's from beef and he slow roasts the beef overnight in its own consomme, its own juices, and it creates this like amazing flavor. Highly, highly, highly recommend if you've never had birria before to come to this stand. It is a morning dish, so he arrives around like 8.30 and normally sells out by like 11 or 12 at the latest. It's cheap eats, street food in the like best possible way. This is what you want. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's so big. Mm -hmm. Santi did not prep me for the size of this thing. He just said that the torso was badass. And it is. I'm not gonna want anything else to eat for the rest of the day. <laughs> Good thing we're going on a hike. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to hike. I'm gonna have to nap. <laughs> if you wanna be able to eat some more later, then get one or two quesadillas because this torta is gonna put me down, but it's gonna be worth it. Wow, 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 this is incredible. We did the Puerto Viejo hike, which takes you out to the old port next to the old sugar mill in Toro Santos, and it is absolutely stunning. You get to this private cove with the most crystal clear turquoise water and just the most striking cliffs, the waves crashing, it's absolutely breathtaking. We've seen a few whales off in the distance as well, which is awesome because I think the whales are starting to make their way north. They're really only here for the winter time. I think January to March is peak season. Definitely recommend this hike. It's a big bang for your buck. It's only about four and a half miles round trip, and that's if you go all the way down to the cove. We decided to turn around at the viewpoint at the top just to make the hike a little bit easier for us. It is midday. And it's starting to get super, super hot. We don't have any water. Or anything with us so this is one of many hikes you can do in the area highly recommend checking out all trails to see if there's any other hikes that look interesting to you if you are coming here but definitely add this one to your list if you're looking for a place to stay in Toto Santos highly highly recommend Cien Palmas it's run and owned by our friends Marielle and Santi they are also the previous owners of our RV Dita they bought the property back in 2020 and during the pandemic turned it into this incredible Airbnb experience. They have several casitas to rent and they have an incredible shared space. They're also adding a cafe and a shop, which is the construction noise you hear in the background right now. I've been online friends for so long and kind of followed along on CM Palma's Instagram page. So it's just so cool to see this property in real life and see how beautiful it is, incredible of a job they've done. So definitely recommend this. We'll have a link to book down below. If you're coming in RV, you could stay at Elytra RV Park, which is near the historic center. It has full hookups offered there, but it is definitely rustic camping with some of its amenities. If you would prefer boondocking, a lot of people choose to camp in Cerritos Beach, which is a very popular surfer's beach. There's like a parking lot, you pay 200 pesos. It's right on the beach though, so that's really nice if you're looking for a fun beach day. There used to be a lot of RV boondocking around the Toto Santos area and some of the beaches, but sadly they've been closed down over this last year because there has been a lot of misuse of public lands here. Some van lifers and RVers have just not been treating the lands well, dumping their tanks, leaving trash behind leaving behind their own waste, if you know what I mean. So please, if you come here, wherever you're camping, make sure to be a responsible camper. Pick up after yourself, leave no, leave no trace, take your trash with you, find a facility that is legal for dumping. Don't just dump your tanks wherever you feel it's okay Please. to. And honestly, give yourself like a little splurge and come stay at San Palmas because it is so nice. Yeah, get a, <laughs> get a little casita, give yourself those nice long showers that you deserve and you know you want. Fish is so good. Second time coming to Dose Cuarenta, their local roaster. They have shops all throughout La Paz, down in San Jose del Cabo. Their flagship store is here in Toro Santos. You can come here and see how they roast their coffee. You can buy their coffee, but they also have a bunch of different pastries and their quiche and breakfast items are fantastic. It's a really popular spot for like co-working. You all the tables outside and stuff. I think people just chill here all day. If you're looking for a finer dining experience, definitely can recommend Oistera. It's right in the center of town and it's in a gorgeous, gorgeous historic building that they have just so beautifully renovated. They have an outdoor patio that is so delightful. But they specialize in seafood, oysters being their primary specialty. They also have chocolate clams, which is something unique to this region. We started with fresh raw oysters from Baja California. We have three from Guerrero Negro and then we also have three from San Quentin. Yesterday was actually our seven year wedding anniversary, so this is kind of like our special celebratory dinner. 
I'm gonna try a little bit of habanero, please. He said it's very spicy. Hot. <laughs> I use the smallest amount. My mouth is on fire. They are not kidding about that face. Holy moly. We've loved our time in Todos Santos. It's a place that I was kind of skeptical if it was gonna be worth the hype or not, but after being here for close to a week, I've definitely see what the appeal is. It's so, so, so charming. It's worth it. Get here. We're in the plaza on a Saturday and there's two people and they're both reading. How cute is that? <laughs> they're sitting on a park bench reading. 